we operate um, on donations, which um, surprises a lot of people once they get here. People just have a better attitude when they get here, I think. They're just a lot happier because of the, they start off with free. And the surprise that people get when they show up here, that we are free and they automatically assume we're just going to be like some little sideshow kind of road attraction. But um, when they walk through here and realize how, you know, how much we have and how well we keep the areas, that, that keeps us apart from everyone else too. There is so much that we can do and we want to do. It's just we're limited to the amount of staff and the amount of funding that we have. There's tons of projects and new exhibits and new animals that we want to get. It's just a matter of time, slowly, slowly. That's, that's the one thing that, that annoys me is everything takes so long. Like I, I, I see the projects and I want them done right away, but they're years in progress. I, I've been nipped before, I've been scratched before. You know, it's, it becomes a joke sometimes to go to the conferences and compare scars. So everybody wants to talk about it, but along those same lines with the society we have and the insurance that everywhere has to have their, you know, we, we're constantly being challenged by management to find safer ways of working with the animals. As a general rule, I'd say the birds can be tough because they are a little testy about being handled too much. You know, they stress out very quickly. Um, I don't know if there's any one animal that think, oh gosh, you know, we have one ostrich who's just a complete pain in the butt to work with because he's aggressive. And, uh, you know, the people who work with him would say he's the toughest one. I got, you know, rattlesnakes here, they're venomous, so you have to work with them carefully, but they're not hard, they're just, you know, there's a big risk. I think we work very hard and very well at making this a positive experience, both for the people, the animal, you know, all, all for the people, the animals, and the keepers. And, um, you know, we have a, a good zoo, you can't beat the price, you know, it's a fantastic facility, we're, you know, like I said, right up there with some of the bigger facilities that have a bigger collection of animals. We're working with uh, environmental programs trying to release animals back out into the wild. When I was working in the rest of the zoo, I got real attached to the uh, giraffes that we've had you know, over the years. There was one that was here for almost 24 years who passed away, and that was pretty hard for a lot of us, people who had been here for a while and worked with them a lot. Um, so you get real attached to them. And, uh, you know, and here's the alligators, you know, I got real attached to one alligator and we ended up shipping him out a couple of years ago because the management felt he was a little too big for us to handle. And, but absolutely, it's just, you know, they're your pets and that's the coolest thing about this job. I'm working with a whole bunch of pets that I have here and taking care of them. I don't have to pay a dime for it. So, you know, everyone asks me that, do you have anything at home? I said, no, it's, they're all here.